And we are back. This is going to be the second tutorial um, on Red Dwarf. So we're going to go over research and technology. So when I last left off, if you haven't actually um, tried to click in the queue, um, you're going to see that you're not going to be able to do anything. Um, so you're going to need to go in your buildings and you're going to need to go to research lab and at least get that to level one for you able to do anything in here. So once that is done, you'll have computer technology and energy technology. Now if you go back to the tech tree, you'll see that there'll be a lot of red and some green after you do the research lab. So you can already see that um, the computer technology, so the research lab has met those requirements and made it green. Um, I went ahead and um, upgraded both of those to two. Um, you can actually upgrade some um, a now a plasma engine so I can start that upgrade and you can see it's starting to do the countdown now. Um, other things to consider when in the tech tree if you have goals uh, missions that you want to accomplish it's all going to be in here on what you're going to need to do. So it's kind of like if um, let's say you want to build your first ship then you're going to need your shipyard to level one and your plasma engine to level one as well. So one would be in the buildings area, and the other one would actually be um, some requirements you'll need to actually meet to get to what you want to do as far as having uh, the plasma engine. So, um, and you're actually almost ready to, so we got uh, the research lab and the energy technology done, um, the plasma engine we're building right now. So. After that, um, it looks like we'll be able to have build our first Defiant Class Starship, which will be in the next tutorial. So I um, hope everybody's having a good time playing, and thank you for watching. Bye.